All right, hello and everyone. We have been continuing uh, the labs for uh, Basie 104, Azure Microsoft Azure Administrator Certification from GitHub. In this section, we're going to do the perform file recovery by using Azure Recovery Service Agent, which is an optional task for that exam. Um, what we're going to do, we have a remote desktop session to AZ 10 uh, VM1. Uh, we are going to open the file explorer, navigate to this particular folder and delete the host file. Okay, so let's let's see if we can get to our machine so I can get rid of it for now. And we're gonna we're just gonna go to our PC C program files uh, system. Where am I? System 32, Windows, Program File System. I don't even see that. See Windows, System 32. So Windows, am I the right spot? See Windows here. <laughs> okay, here, System 32, so S, S. System 32, so we are in there. Uh, we need to go to driver, drivers. We're gonna go to etc. Now host. That is the file that we're gonna delete. Okay, so now it's gone. Okay, switch to the Microsoft Azure backup window and click on recover data. So now we can just come back to. Actually, we're going to do that th using this window. Let's see if I still have my Azure. I do not have my Azure. So let's see if I can quickly log in. This is the account I'm using. Uh, just give it a second. And there we go. We are in. So what they're saying. Uh, Microsoft Azure backup window and click on uh, recover data so Microsoft Azure backup window so is it my agent so let's, I don't need this so let's uh, get rid of this from here uh, let me see what that is backup agent I, I click on recover data I think we still need to stay over here okay so uh, and start the recovery data data wizard on the getting started page of the recover data user ensure the server option is selected so let's see this server option is selected so that's good and uh, we are gonna have a problem with this one because okay let's try to move it there yeah okay so click next uh, option is selected the, on the select recovery mode ensure individual files and folder option is selected click next so individual files and folder that option is selected that's good click next on the select recovery mode page ensure the individual files and folder option is selected click next On the select volume data, select the volume drop down, select C, accept the default selection and click on mount. So default is good, click on mount. So that's now mounting. And then on the browse and recover files page, note the drive letter of the recovery volume and review the tip regarding the use of RoboCopy. So as soon as this mounting is done, uh, we will be able to do the next follow-up steps so just give it a second and I'm gonna pause the video until it's done all right we are back uh, the recovery browse and recover first we are down to this phase and this uh, drive is now properly mounted so let's go back and see what to do on the browse and recovery files note the drive letter of the recovery volume and review the tip regarding the use of RoboCopy 
uh, then click start and expand windows system folder and command prompt so browse here's the use of rubocopy use rubocopy for better performance when copying files from the recovery volume into a destination of your choice and you can have more information there I hit ok and it open up the uh, folder system click start expand windows system folder and click command prompt minimize this again uh -uh. see if I can open the command prompt okay I got to the, I got to the command prompt from the command prompt run the following uh, to copy to restore the host file to the original location recover uh, replace with the drive letter of the recovery volume you identified so drive letter of the recovery volume is still is F so let's put it over here um, just something and uh, this is F and uh, that's all I need to do so robocopy is what we're gonna do copy this and from our I should have this window open so let's see if I can paste it paste I didn't work so let's try it one more time because I really do not want to paste yeah here we go so now I hit enter it, sh it has created it should have switched back to the recover data wizard on the browse and recover files click un unmount and then prompted and click yes so what we have done in here so we have gone in there and uh, we have recovered the file from a mount that where we mounted at F and we got the file and put the uh, put the host file that we deleted back in the proper folder okay so once this is done we can click on unmount and we can say yes and I think we can get out of this window for now I just minimize it switch back to the recover data wizard on the browser and unmount it so we have done that and terminate the desktop connection so what we have done in this lab we have deleted a file uh, actually one here so that file is now back uh, in our file system again so if I do a uh, refresh on it yeah so this file system that I deleted it's now back so we have uh, that's the end of this video we have completed a recovery of your file system um, using the wizard, uh, wizard in the next video we will take a look at performing file recovery by using Azure Virtual Machine snapshots. See you there. Good luck with the exam.